How you doing guys? This is Eric from secretoftheinternet.com and this video is about how you can get your pineapple to grow every time. Pineapples from the store, how you can propagate them by chopping off the top and actually get it growing because a lot of people try this. It is a way you can do it, but unless you do a couple things right, it's not going to turn out well. It's going to rot in the ground, things like that, and uh, you want to be able to do it every single time. So the first step is to get your pineapple in the store, make sure it has a nice good big top on it. Look down inside it because some of them I've heard are actually drilled out. Now, I'm not sure why they do that. I don't know if it's just to prevent you from propagating them. I don't know if it's to make the top look a little better or something like that. But for whatever reason, I have heard that's a thing. Not sure if that's true or not, but I take a look at it. As you can see in this one, there's nothing weird going on in there. It's not flat or bored out or anything like that. It has a good top on it, so I'm gonna show you how I take care of it. So first we want to get our pineapple, get rid of this tag. Now what you want to do is cut off the top with, you don't need to leave a lot of meat on there. I use a serrated knife because it cuts through it a little better, but because we're going to pull most of the meat off. So go just below where it actually plugs in to the pineapple. And you're going to have some meat on there, so don't worry about that. But so you'll end up with something like this. That's fine. What I do next is I pull all the meat off. Should come off fairly easily and leave you with a nice little thing like that. Now that's mostly where that's usually where most people stop. What I do is I actually continue to pull off. You can start whichever ones are on the bottom and pull off a lot of these leaves. And a little bit of the remaining bits of meat will come with it. Try to find the ones that are actually on the bottom because they kind of overlap. There, see how that happens? And you may think that you're like destroying it, but what happens is that if you leave almost any of this meat on there, it'll just rot and you won't actually get it to start growing roots. Once you get a little farther up, these leaves will start coming off a lot easier than the little short ones. And you'll even start to see some of these like roots on there. Now these roots themselves won't normally start growing again. They're too old and air burned. But once you've uncovered them, you know you're getting to the right spot where the, the roots will eventually start coming out of. And you don't need a whole lot of these because most of the leaves that are on here will just brown anyway if you leave them on there. So you can go up a little bit of a ways. There's no exact mark where you need to start or stop, but it's hard to really to take too many of them off. I mean, if it looks starting to look really sad, like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree, then maybe you've gone too far, but you can go up pretty far. You wanna get a lot of nice exposed part there. Now, so that's pretty good. You could stick with this and this little bit of meat on there should be okay. Now the, and the next key step is to leave this just sitting, I just sit it on the windowsill or the counter, just like it is, get rid of all this, put it in the compost pile. But I just leave this sitting there for five days or so until this meat portion is completely dried out. Because the last thing you wanna do is have it rot and that is what'll happen. So once you've done that part, take my leaves off, just sit it somewhere on a counter, on a windowsill, somewhere like that, somewhere where ants or something won't get to it if you have a little bit of meat, and just let it dry out for about a week until it's completely dry. And then at that point, you can stick it in just directly in the ground, which is what I've done before, or you can propagate it in water first. This is one that I've had, that I've had in the water for about a week and a half, two weeks. And you can see all those roots that are coming out of it. You can see it's not the old ones that were already there. It actually has new roots come out of the side. So this one will be ready to plant pretty much whenever. And like I said, you can just, it's just a solo cup with water in it. You can just stick them in the ground when they're dry. And I've had pretty much success with that. It is cool to see though that the roots are actually coming out because if you do just stick them in the ground, it'll just stay there for a long time and you won't notice any visible change in the thing until it starts rooting and everything. So it's kind of nice to see that the roots have come out that way, but. 
Either way works. The key important steps are to take away all the meat and a bunch of the leaves and then let it dry out. That's what you have to get right every time. Then after that, if you stick it in the ground, stick it in the water, either way will, will work. Then you just wait because a pineapple plant takes about 18 months to two years or so before your first pineapple will come out of it. And then you um, can get a pineapple or more every year and you would get little offshoots that you can plant those and get more pineapple plants. So it's pretty fun. They're easy to grow here in Florida. Depends on where you are, they might not be feasible. But that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.